Hello, statistics students, and welcome back. This is chapter five still, and we're on to example number five. And here we're going to be talking about heights uh, of women, and we're going to be using the empirical rule throughout to kind of help us out here. Okay, so it's helpful to remember the empirical rule, um, also known as, you know, the 68, 95, 99.7 rule. Okay, so here we have uh, some general things. We have a mean, right? We have women, heights of women between 18 to 24, approximately normal. This is big, uh, with a mean of 64.5 and a standard deviation of 2.5. Sketch a picture as you answer each question. Okay, so you have to do it for each question. You have to sketch a picture. So it says, what percentage of women are between 62 and 67? Well, okay, so I sketch my little picture here, and down the middle, I get 64.5. I know one standard deviation up, that will be 67, and then one standard deviation below, that will be 62. I care about these, 62 and 67. I've gone as far as I need to go. It's between there, so it's like this area in between. Yes, it's important that you shade. And how much data sits in here? Well, according to the empirical rule, right, there is 34% sits here, 34% sits here. This is the classic one standard deviation above and below. So we have a um, percentage of 68%. Okay, that wasn't too bad, hopefully. Moving on to B. Says what percentage of women are shorter than 59.5 inches? Okay, so here we draw a little curve, right? That one was bad, but it's not a big deal. 64.5 here. Just found out this is 62. One more down would be 59.5. Okay. Now, here we know that the top from the bottom, like from this middle point down this way, this is 50%, right? Well, we don't get all of that. It says shorter than 59. So I, I want this little section out here. Well, we know that from the empirical rule, 34% lies here, 13.5 lie here, right? I don't get that, so it's 50% minus 34%, minus 13.5%, right? And if I'm doing that, I think I end up with 2.5%. There are many different ways to do this. I'm simply showing one way. Uh, you obviously could have all those little splits memo memorized and know that there's 2.5% left, okay? There's a bunch of different ways to go about these. On to C, it says what percentage of women are between 57 inches and 69.5? Again, we have to draw a curve for each one of these. So we draw a little curve, and this is at 64.5. We just did this one is at 62. We know this one's at 59.5. We're not far enough. We keep going. We get 57. We've hit that number. Up here, we do the same thing, right? This would be 67 here, not big enough. 69.5 is big enough, okay? Bunch of different ways to go about this, okay? I think um, most people in statistics are gonna say that this is 34%, this is 34%. This is 13.5, this is 13.5, this last little section here is 2.35, okay? I get all of these because I want from 57 up to 69 and a half. If I were to add all of those up, right, everything from here to here, I should get this 97.35%, okay? There are other ways to do that, of course. We could say that there is 2.5% uh, here, and there is 0.15% here, and take it out. Okay, a bunch of different ways to go about that. Moving on to part D. Of course, if any of this is too fast, you should be pausing the video going back. Okay, if you feel like you want to work one out, 
and then see what I say. Of course, you should be pausing the video, so on. You'll have to use your own discretion there. So, here I start always with a curve. I always start with a curve. Now it says a height of 72, per, or 72 inches corresponds to what percentile? Okay. Well, I know that this is 64.5. This one is at 67. This one is at 69.5. The next one here would be at 72. If it's a percentile, you get 72 and everything down here, right? Remember that this top spot, all of this is 50%, right? Which means that this 34, this 13.5, and this 2.35, okay? If I added that up and took it out of 50, it should only have this 0.15% left, right, above it. Okay, percentile, though, works from 72, everything below it. So it's like, it's like 100% minus the top side, which is 0.15%, which would then give us a 99. 8 5th percentile and it and it's kind of weird to say it like that um but usually we say like 99th percentile and even though we have the decimals here we can still try to kind of sound it out although it looks a little goofy okay that means if a woman is 72 inches tall they are taller than 99.85 percent of all women in the population which remember was ages 24, 18 to 24, okay? Now, a height in what range would represent the top 16%? Okay, again, don't let this intimidate you. Draw a picture right away, okay? We know the middle's here. It says top 16%, so I am thinking about a line somewhere out here, and I want this shaded part right here to be 16%, okay, 16%, all right? Now, a bunch of different ways to do this, okay? I think that most um, of you will probably start here with 64.5, the middle, work to 67, then it's, this is at 34%, right? Which means that there would be how much left? Well. Really, when you're thinking about it, from the middle line, right, this middle line, all the way up here to the right, there's 50%, right? So if I went to this line here, let's get a different color, okay? If I went to this line right here and went up, how much data would there be up here at this green spot? Well, think about it. There's 34% already in just this little tiny snippet here. That means that if I take 50 minus the 34, the data that's in here, this arrow spot, that would have to be 16%. Oh, I'm saying the top 16%. Oh, that means that it would have to be at 67, such as if I redraw the curve, right, 64.5, 67, okay, here I know that this section here is 34%, which leaves 16% here, which means, oh, I got to be at this mark, which is at 67 inches. But now if I'm at 67 inches, I'm in the top 16%, right? But can't I be taller? So you have to put or taller. Without or taller, this is wrong. Okay. And then we have our chapter 5, example number 5. Example six is coming up in the next video.